This conference will now be recorded. Okay, welcome everyone. Let's full start our session. Uh, please, if you have any question during a lesson, if you, you want to ask, please feel free. You can unmute yourself and you can ask, you know, as you know me, my name is Anjum. If you have any question, drop me emails too, if you're listening this recording. So today lesson will go through LO3 is understand management uh, of procurement, which is LO3 uh, procurement operations, which we'll go through. Today lesson will cover, discuss the key principle and application and category of management and critically assess, you know, the impact of technology and procurement. That will be the key. In the last lesson, last two, first we discuss about contract management, procurement, uh, second, we key focus on the legislation and we discuss various legislations such as GDPR and uh, we discuss about, you know, we need to be follow EU legislation as well in terms of the UK and part of the EU. Uh, 3.1, discuss the key principal application and categories of management. We discuss about management is a task, management is a discipline. We went through the project management. What is the project management? So strategic approach to procurement where the organization segment, it's spending on bought, you know, the goods and the services and may involve this. We can look around split into the direct and indirect. Direct is directly. The product, you know, we normally use the word direct cost. The cost which we can trace within the product, they're called direct cost. Direct product, indirect product. Or the services may be related to dissecting of the product or the services by value supply and the type or the volume yes type what type of product is a consumer product is a business product yes those you know are industrial product so we can look around those so required you know the and updated analysis of the organization spending versus the market data so always good to be when you do the procurement get the market data look around that we have in the uk as a trust pilot Trust pilot is quite good, you know, to look around the views about, you know, the previous year, you know, the customer, those bought and deal with the company. We look around the benchmark, KPI, key performance indicators in the area of improvement. That's how quickly, you know, we deliver the goods. And so in the category of management life cycle, we can look around, define what we need to do. We need to make sure we'll define. Yes, so. So that's strategic management, which we earlier, yes. So that's the key, which we're looking today. Category of management and strategic mean the long-term involved, yes, direct, indirect, we said, and we need to look around the category, define the category, assess the role of, assess the performance, always performance. You know, when we'll say performance, the word, always look in three areas, time, cost, and quality of the things. Yes, that's the crucial not look the performance that's why if i'll ask you know do you have a nokia are you using still nokia most of the people say no no we don't use the nokia why nokia that reach is the world leader but they more focus on the cost they said they close many research and development center in they not innovate the product ultimately stay behind so we need to be think about performance in time and cost and quality maybe for time being your cost drop but it can be huge impact in the long run set objective objective mean end result with what we want to achieve so always there is a model called balance score card model and we can look around in those perspective financial perspective customer perspective set the category of the tactics and implementation that's we need to be and we need to be focused on these points huh? uh, please if you have any question feel free ask huh? so we can look around the approaches and the categories before you know going to the market we need to be make sure you have clearly understanding about what are the demands, yes? What are the sourcing of activity and contract, you know, with the supplier management. Last lesson and the previous, we also mentioned contract. There is an offer, there is acceptance, there is a consideration, there is a legal binding. So what is a contract? Contract is a legal binding, that's what we need to be. One of the great scholar is called Pareto Rule 8020. His mention is, 80% sale coming from 20% customer and 20% sale coming from 80% customer. So in the small number of categories represent you the majority of the total spend, the number of the supplier cause disproportion in the number of the problems. So we can look around the rules, you know, and we can look around. The other is called ABC. What is the ABC? It's called activity-based costing or activity-based. Huh? 
So we can look around the various activities when it's 10%, 20%, the supplier 10 to 15% total number of supplier, but 80% of the total spend. B supplier 20 and the number of suppliers about 15%. And C supplies, which we can look around, you know, that's it. So that's we can look around, you know, the supplier C, yes, 60 to 70%. That's a huge, you know, we can look around the benefit of category of management step chain in the saving delivery. And we can look around the deliveries and saving across entire category, not just, you know, specific. The requirement engage with the stakeholders. Stakeholders we discuss about, you know, like customer, like supplier, anybody who has any interest in the business is a stakeholder. There are the stakeholder mapping. So if you type in the Google stakeholder next to that, if you write the word Kaplan, Kaplan is a publisher. So we have a different model, a different matrix of the stakeholders. If we can look around different stakeholders and their different expectation can be, and those we can look around. Build you know, demand challenges through the stakeholders. Agreement, focus on the supply market, active you know, engage innovation and value added. Benefit of category of management, we can look around the result improvement in the service level, quality level, availability, value for money. So like in a public sector organization, Gore, we we not really want to earn the profit, but we look in the value of the money. Yeah? So reduce, reduce the risk in the supply chain. Thus we need to be cross-functional team. Yes, we can look around the approaches, ensure buy-in the outcome, where we can use the, you know, the appraisal method. We can appraise them the like you know payback period, time value of money, and things you know which we can look around. Which further we can when we'll do you know we can look around in the assignment discussion as well. Some you know these examples. Raising the profile of the procurement as the service partner. Any question? Is all okay? Yeah. Okay. Then we're looking category assess the impact of technology. Of course, technology is huge. You know impact like i mentioned in previous lesson ibm system 3090 you can relocate your good you can look around the distance why you can look around the the category and you can you can uh, story the product according to the high low volume of the product you can micro microchip are various others in the part numbers in the warehouse and all the process we can look around impact is the technologies are huge use of technology in procurement which is you know we can look around the technology in interventions which e-procurement we can do uh, procure to pay yes erp what is the erp system do we know is are you using maybe different erp system is enterprise resource planning system in procurement sources of the contract we need to be make sure technology and time Techn the technology should reduce the time really because the time ultimately we're looking git just in time inventory methods we can look around the dial computer is in india taking assembling in different part of the world so your procurement soon will be automated because that's you know the huge the, there is a concept called small factory we can look around the small factory the things coming at auto auto order in place yes so like you know when we think about now in term of um, what is happening in term of at the moment amazon especially warehouse you know through old is a big operation Yes, reports and things. So that's, you know, technology is playing the huge role which we can look around. Procure to pay the cycle, yes. So process of acquisition, purchasing and receiving and paying for accounting for the goods and services. We can look around the credit management system as well. So you pay uh, as least time, you know, for, to pay to supplier, but try to collect the money from the customer quicker. So you have a safety net of the cash flow. The requirement of the goods and time management, the timely manner is quite is reasonable because it's a time, it's also price itself is cost you. So involve number of sequential stages and ranging from needs to be identification to the invoice approval and the vendor's payment. Huh? So that's whole process. We have a, there is a number of system which we can look around, the account can be reconciled. We can look around the procurement and we can do audit, you know, that will help, you know, in, in, in future technology will enable us to be sitting in office and we can locate everything as a procurement of ESRA. ERP is good to be purchased. We can look around sale. We can look around CRM, inventory management, warehouse, e-commerce electronic commerce tradings, yes, finance, we can look around the financial management and sales management. 
because it's sale forecast and the procurement is quite a link we can do enterprise resource planning yes formation of acquisition team stage two we can examine the business requirement we need to formation of the evaluation criteria and we can look at evaluation and selection best fit the best fit is a concept that's best always you know management is all making the decision and selecting the best course of action collect the set of the procurement processes adopt when sourcing the product and the services the process began with the analyzing the product and the services requirement and developing the source supply sourcing strategy is advantage to the request for the quotation and contract negotiation and phase before the finally awarding the contract to be suitable yes yeah, that's we need to be integrating p to b s s to c which we can look around so, uh, we can look around the spend data management yes we can look around the strategic sourcing vendors management tactics buying yes we can catalog day-to-day -day purchasing we can look around the performance management and then actions and payables and account payables yes that's all we need to be managed an enabler for the new generation procurement model process recent you know innovation in the process data mining have created the processes within the procurement organization and now is able to be harmonized the processes yes we need to be contextualized discussions you know it's not when you sell forecast you have a purchase there and the purchase is demand there demand is taking order advance and linking with the economics factors as well because the technology enable us what is happening in economics growth that link to the company growth as well so governance using the digital tools and the next generation procurement and the governance mechanisms such as you know automated workflow enforce you know policies in the real time that's what we need to be because anything happen or change the rules and the tax and the tariffs you know that's also be the system of our crm system embed these so we can ensure the purchase is made via the right buying channel and with the right you know vendors and can help you know the safeguarding and the suspect purchase enable for the next generation procurement model organization be embracing the gale we said you know the waste really we need to real time can be respond to the volatile capacity requirement and capacity planning is also very crucial because you know if you're not working on the full capacity that's the waste of the resource you know capabilities and culture yes culture of the organization there are the different model of that's why normally we use the word think globally act locally if you not act locally because the local cultures can be done think about the mcdonald and the various others target the investment and digital you know capability ability to do things and use mixed or you know, adult learning and open you know the source of e-learning modules and develop both technical skills and the source we can look around and enable the next generation procurement model digital no embracing more use of the cases identifying and delivering the source so securing the value because if your supply chain not create a procurement not create the value real time information and insight data in analytics is becoming very very important and the degrees university is offering data data mining data analytics yes we look in the trend analysis you know the correlation between various things yeah is it related to we can look around standard deviation the risk factor is the probability of the things huh? that's you know inter external and internal procurement and non-procurement data success and prescribe the source of the decision any question please no uh, i just go through the presentation and then i'll let you know if i have any questions okay so yes so if you have any question regarding this you know which we can look around lo3 is all about the procurement technologies and the contracting uh, and we can look around because of course in your own capacity you're working maybe you know in your own organization more but end of the day we're looking you know how we can do the smooth line thing always good yeah. model good model is reflection because you know if we say this model is a fit but this model may be fit in, in america but not in a lot according to our local standards according to the cultures according to the processes linking with the road infrastructure as well maybe it's not yeah. match yes and we're saying you know we deliver you in 45 minutes or one hour or 60 minutes but depends where we can do it yes how is the traffic and all others yeah we can't really do it we not really make the promise because the fall from so ultimately the goodwill of the company will decline from it yes so that's really 
that's we really need to be focused so ibm system 3090 we have a argus here in the uk catalogs and looking the middleman and re-delivery uh, like amazon is really is a good example of it and really crn system need to be very up to date and is automated you know and of course we as the individual as the managers you have a good interpretation of the data yes and you can make the real time decision by looking the trends huh? of course technology is useful but sometimes technology can be because one of the company here they the company called paul star in sheffield in here in england uk so the company changed you know all the printing catalog newspaper everything is automated the forklifter used to refill the papers but what's happened they did the study everything went fine but what's happened they sometimes is a little piece of the paper on the floor if it's a tiny second difference yes so it can it was the huge huge waste of the paper because the machine was running the nanosecond and the forklifter was just putting and ultimately you know this the losses were higher than the manual workforce huh? so then they change it because we need to be think about the system it's not everywhere it can be 100 percent accurate like self you know the taxis and the cars and all the technology yes is the happening it's still on the trial and test we can't really ignore it we have to try to embed data as much we can but still we need to be work on the traditional as well as the improving by using embedding technology yeah? that is more crucial yeah? uh, okay so good so you're working in logistic huh? no not really i work in uh, uh, procurement uh, proposal management proposal management a uh, proposal management okay brilliant yeah. so you're looking all all proposal and, and tender. proposal preparation uh, client uh, negotiations Great. Uh, yeah it's quite you know quite technical work in a way yes because it can cost you know huge yeah when... it's technical and managerial yeah but it's it is a very uh, sensitive uh, type of job need, so uh, but this we need data information and information data. is the knowledge yeah. itself, huh? yes, great yes. brilliant well done so that's good you know so next lesson we look you know lo4 yes you l yeah. pieces we can further expand into lo3 as well and mm. that's all from today from my end and hope you know Perfect. speak to during last next lesson so our the next meanwhile. lesson is on may 12th yes it's showing on the may 12th but if you think yeah. we need to change anything let us know we can yeah. if you want we can do it tomorrow same time i'm okay with it if you want tomorrow so we I can guess probably we... finish this uh, this uh, unit. Okay, nobody. Yeah, what this we unit, can... and then I can start with the uh, with the uh, assignment. assignment. Like no problem. What we can do, I'll I'll change the dates in the booking, and we can do tomorrow yeah. if. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Nobody. It's four o'clock tomorrow. Okay. Perfect. Same time. Okay. Great. Nobody. Same time. Okay. Link will stay the same. Me. We'll yeah, start yeah. up. Okay. Oh, thank okay. you. Perfect. Have a nice time. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.